welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello my dear students, welcome back to First Commerce Accountancy Online Classes. We are discussing about accounting equation, let's move to solve the next sum. Prepare the accounting equation from the following transaction, from the following basis. First one, always started business with cash. Very simple, we can easily find out the two accounts which are uh, involved in a in this particular transaction. So, cash and capital are the two accounts are affected here. Next, see the uh, second one bought from Naveen traders. Naveen traders, I told that you should assume when person name comes then that transaction is a credit transaction. What is it? Credit transaction. So, who, who will come here? That person is called as what? Creditors. So, Naveen Traders is considered as creditors to the organization. So, bought, bought from Naveen. So, here one account is creditors. So, one more account is stock. When we purchase something, our stock increases. If there is not mentioned like the asset name, like furniture, machinery, loose tools like that, then we should assume that transaction as a stock. It means that transaction affects to stock. So, one account is stock, another account is creditors. That creditors means what? Creditors comes under liabilities or asset? Yes, creditor comes under liability. So, increases in liability along with that increases in stock. Sold goods to Banu costing rupees 10,000. Just, uh, uh, just see this transaction. Sold goods to Bhanu costing rupees 10,000. Now, now you can consider this transaction as what? Well. See, sold goods to Bhanu costing rupees 10,000 for rupees 12,000 for cash. Means cash. Okay. See, here this transaction affects three accounts, three accounts. You can raise one question, how, how, how it is affected to three accounts. See, here sold goods to Banu costing rupees 10,000. If uh, this particular transaction means up to here, it is affected to stock, means decreases in stock, costing rupees 10,000 for cash, then it is affected to cash cash okay then now now it is 10000 product sold for sold at 12000 so 10000 product 10000 product actually namge baabekagiddu eshtu 10000 but illi eshtu bandide 12000 12000 10 rupee product anna, 12 ke sale maartta hai remaining 2 rupees is considered as what? Profit or loss? Of course, at as 2000 is considered as what? Profit. 2000 is considered as profit, okay? So, here profit or loss, it is affected to capital account. Profit and loss is affected to negatively affected to capital account. Means profit positively affected to capital account. Loss negatively affected to capital account. So here sold goods to Banu costing rupees 10,000 for rupees 12,000. Here one account is stock. Means stock decreases. Cash increases. 12,000 means in that 2,000 affected to capital means capital shows increased value okay open the bank account one account is bank to open the bank account we have cash. so bank shows increased value cash shows decreased value withdrawn from bank for office use don't be confused here 
suppose withdrawn from bank for personal use then it is affected to cash and capital account because it is considered as drawings drawings but here office use they mention clearly about uh, that what office use they withdraw cash for office use so it is a, a business transaction means affected to business account it means cash is deducted one account is cash another one account another account is bank means actually uh, when we are opening a bank account we deposited 10000 so he had 10000 initially but to op uh, but again again he withdrew uh, withdraw 2000 rupees for a, the office use so 10000 minus 2000 so cash amount is also deducted from uh, means another uh, 2000 amount is deducted from cash also like that salary outstanding it's a new transaction to you people still uh, uh, now we are not uh, discussed about this transaction so salary outstanding outstanding means salary due but not yet paid last month salary still not yet paid by the business organization so last month salary kodbe kittu before end uh, date but inna date kod inna salary kodlilla ant helidre that is considered as outstanding salary salary unpaid salary outstanding means what salary unpaid salary kodbe kittu inna salary kodlilla that's why it is considered as what outstanding salary now kodbek agiddu inna kodlilla helidre yen anta consider madbeku asset anta consider madada liability anta consider madada kelavar heltidiri liability anta ade correct so now yavaga kodbek agidda amount inna kottirodillo adanna nav yen anta consider martteve liability anta consider martteve namgiru anta responsibility Today or tomorrow we have to pay that amount so it is considered as a responsibility for the business organization. So outstanding salary affected to liability and capital and capital. So liability increase after it the capital uh, tomorrow or today or tomorrow we have to deduct the same amount from capital from capital. So this particular transaction affects to liability and capital. Say for example, wages outstanding, wages outstanding, you should uh, treat same for this also, uh, like we have to deduct from capital and you have to add to the liability, liability, getting my point? So here what are the two accounts are affected, one is the liability that is outstanding liability, one account is liability and another one is capital. Let us solve this question by using accounting equation assets equal to liabilities plus capital first one cash how much 2 lakh here also 2 lakh before going to second one 2 lakh nil there is no liability except the capital 2 lakh the, see the second one bought from Navin traders already I explained once bought from Navin traders affect to stock and creditors bought from Navin so our stock increases 50,000 50,000 liability also increases creditors creditors also increases costing rupees 50,000 50,000 so 2 lakh plus 50 here 50,000 plus 2 lakh 2 lakh 50 here also 2 lakh 50 and next one sold goods to Bhanu costing rupees 10,000 for rupees 12,000 for cash 3 accounts are affected see usually most of the transactions are affected to 2 accounts but sometime 
some transaction affects more than two accounts maybe four accounts or maybe three accounts so or more than that also depends on the transaction so here one transaction affects to three accounts three different accounts one is cash another one is stock and one more account is capital so how we can write an accounting equation so sold goods to banu sold goods sold means deduct uh, deduction from stock means 50000 is the stock 10000 to kadime aagta ide so 10000 deduct marteve plus 12000 added to added to cash account because now 10000 as to goods ana sale maadbekadre 12000 receive maadideve 12000 en maadideve receive maadideve so hage 10 sorry 12 minus 10 what is the profit amount 2000 so 2000 we need to add to the capital to the capital say for example loss occur aitu say for example 10000 goods sold at 8000 Sold for rupees eight thousand. Then here ten thousand stock decreased ten thousand amount received eight thousand two thousand is considered as what loss. We have to deduct that same amount from capital. So from capital. Okay. Fine. Next two lakh plus twelve thousand two lakh twelve thousand plus forty thousand equal to fifty. Thousand plus two lakh two thousand. Okay. Next one. Open the bank account. One more account is added here. Bank account. How much? Ten thousand. Ten thousand deducted from cash also. Ten thousand deducted here. Ten thousand added here. Means ten thousand asset decreases. Ten thousand. Another asset was increased. So two lakh twelve thousand minus ten thousand. Two lakh two thousand plus forty thousand plus ten thousand equal to fifty thousand. फ्रमेरू He, he withdrew cash from bank, so bank decreases. Bank decreases to two two thousand amount is decreased from bank, and two thousand amount added to cash. Two lakh two thousand did the do, and two lakh four thousand did the cash. Finally, ten thousand account did the do. Kadi me agi eight thousand did the ano do. Ashte. So here two lakh two plus two lakh uh, two lakh two plus two thousand two lakh four thousand plus. Uh, Forty thousand plus ten minus two eight thousand. Here fifty thousand plus two lakh two thousand. There is no effect to liability and the capital of the firm. So next one. Salary outstanding. Outstanding means what? Salary not yet paid. Previous month salary unpaid to pay. Okay, so that is considered as liability for the business organization. So how we can record the liability? Liability we can record. That is what we should add here one more. Obarius means outstanding. Obarius means outstanding. Outstanding salary. Outstanding salary. Outstanding salary. How much? What is the amount? Ten thousand. So here, 
increases liability increases same time capital decreases capital decreases clear so now the final calculation 2,4,000 plus 2,4,000 plus 40,000 plus 8,000 ok 8,000 next 50 plus 10 60,000 plus 2,2,000 2, minus 10,000 1 lakh 2 lakh 2000 minus 10,000 that is how much? 1 lakh 92,000. 1 lakh 92,000. Okay. Let's see whether assets of the firm equal to its liabilities and capital or not. 2 lakh 4 plus 40, 2 lakh 44,000 plus 8,000. 2 lakh 52,000 correct 2 lakh 52,000 here also 1 lakh 92,000 plus 60 2 lakh 2 lakh 52,000 now companies are said business organizations are said equal to its liabilities and capital. I hope there is no doubt on this. Only one uh, changes here in the changes compared to the previous sum is one is a salary outstanding. Another one is here uh, sold goods to Banu costing rupees 10,000 and uh, we earned a profit. So one transaction affects to three different accounts. And one more is here Navin traders that is what credit transaction we should assume because person name only mentioned in the transaction and here withdrawn from a bank for office use. Usually when we uh, say the uh, sentence like withdrawn from bank, immediately we assume the transaction as a drawings but you should not do like that. We should understand the whole sentences properly. Okay. So, withdrawn from bank for office use rupees 2000 is considered as office related expense. So, it affects to cash and bank. When we withdraw something from bank, our bank uh, shows reduced value and uh, cash shows increased value. So, we can apply some rule also here, but uh, the, uh, about application of rules, uh, how we can pass the journal entries and all, we will discuss in the next classes. So, just try to understand and try to find out the two different uh, accounts in a transaction. So, for that reason it is uh, very helpful to the basic who are learning accountancy. So, salary outstanding is considered as liability. Liability means what? In, uh, outstanding means what? Not yet paid. Whether uh, expenses not yet paid, it may be the wages or salary or whatever it may be. But uh, previous expenses not yet paid, previous wages not yet paid, then it is considered as liability because today or tomorrow they have to pay to the concerned authority, to the concerned entities, so it is considered as expense to the organization. So, but outstanding salary affected to uh, negatively affected to capital and uh, increase uh, and uh, shows increase in liability. So, I hope all of you understood of this concept. In uh, next coming classes, we will discuss about some more concepts of accounting like how to record the uh, transaction in the book uh, in the basic book of, uh, that is called a journal and all okay thank you for watching this video don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates